Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is lecture series 19 under introduction to IoT dealing with Cloud Simulator. Come let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. So we have seen about what is cloud computing, why we are moving into cloud computing, what is the reason we have chosen cloud computing as the best option. All these we have seen in the previous video. Now in this video, we are going to see like what, what this cloud simulator will do and why we need a cloud simulator. So when you want to implement the cloud, we obviously need a cloud simulator. Why this cloud simulator is done is wherever, uh, whatever company we are using, if suppose if it is a manufacturing company, there is a step by step process followed like first the material is made ready and the area is made ready, manufacturing is done, testing is done, quality, quality check is done. So there are a number of process followed to get the final product. The same way here in cloud computing, when you are using cloud computing as one of the uh, main source for the deployment of IoT architecture, you obviously need cloud simulation even though it, it is complex to be built and it is of high cost. Because the IoT infrastructure is growing in a uh, rapid way, the deployment is on the higher side. So, when you want a cloud simulator, you should, you, you should go through like how complex it will be to build to completely take away the IoT infrastructure. So there are some requirements for simulating all the IoT system. So for that simulation or for the real implementation, we need cloud simulator. So there are many cloud simulators. It is not just one cloud simulator we use. There are many kinds of uh, cloud simulators we can use where you can keep on, check, uh, keep on checking your performance and you can evaluate the performance details of the system. So that is why we move into cloud simulator. We need cloud simulator for implementing your cloud in a real time. So next, for that, you have to see, obviously you have to see the pros of what the cloud simulator is. So first you can tell that the cloud simulator, whatever we develop uh, being complex or high cost, we can tell that it has flexibility. What flexibility it has? Whatever infrastructure you dump into, this the simulator is having the flexibility to control the complete infrastructure. And if suppose if there is any small error, then it is responsible for pre-deduction of the issues. So that when it is deducted before uh, getting into the real-time implementation, the system performance can be improved. And it is not that the evaluation can be done, done only once. Whenever required, the evaluation of the system can be repeated at intervals of time. And also, the testing, what we do, the evaluation, what we do to measure the performance is at no cost. Real time implement, when you're going for real time implementation, there is a pre deployment test that is done. So, when you're going to affix a soil sensor in the soil, so it is not that we are going to build the complete application and go fix the sensor in the soil. We will first take the survey in what kind of soil we are going to place the sensor, where you are going to place the sensor. So all those pre-deployment tests will be done before the implementation. Then the evaluation, deductions of issues, controlling the complete architecture will be carried out. So these are the some advantages that the cloud simulator is posing to the customer. Next, cloud simulator can be divided into three, that is cloud sim, cloud analyst, and green cloud. So seeing in detail, cloud sim, it is nothing but it is a Java based environment. The complete code or the complete deployment is Java based. And you can tell that when comparing to the other simulator, this cloud sim becomes a popular cloud simulator. It was first developed in the University of Melbourne. And then here you can see that a cloud simulators 
evaluation of performance can be done that is it, can, it your cloud simulator allows to either add or delete the resources dynamically during your simulation and evaluation test if suppose if you find any mistake or any error it allow you to add the file so that the evaluation test is com uh, is completed in a uh, good way so for that i will give you an example of deployment of an application or a website on the cloud and you are testing the services so when you are developing a website you develop a website and you not just without testing you don't give it to the customer the customer ask us to develop a website on their needs and based on their needs you design all the all the websites or whatever it is you design it you once check from your side the testing is the complete service whatever they are asking you are checking it once or twice before launching it into the real time scenario so uh, so that you can see the cloud simulator how it works whether it is taking the payment details in the right way whether the payment gateway is the right, in, is in the right way all these can be observed next there are some features that you can see when you are using cloud simulator so the cloud simulator it will provide you various computing centers uh, where each of the computing centers will have its own network topology that is whether it uses a star mesh whatever it is uh, it will be using different network topology and it is a customer who can choose the a particular network topology in that particular data centers and next is the virtualization of the service host can be done in the simulation that is you can see where virtualization the user when when virtualization of the server can be done then it is sure that the user will be allocated with some virtual machines like how we scan our qr code directly as soon as you scan your qr code the qr code is read in your system and you can you are paying the amount so each and every user will be allocated with some virtual machines and also it allow it will be allowing the user to define the policies if you are taking some resources there will be some policies if you are going to access a gmail you are going to accept some policies you give i agree and then continue likewise whatever cloud simulators you are use, using you will be accepting all those uh, policies and when you are using this you, you, the feature that it provides us it has good flexibility as we have already seen flexibility of adding or removing the simulation can be done and the user has a best choice where the user can decide to either stop the simulation process or you can resume the simulation process where and when required so when you are developing a matlab uh, program when you are developing number of blocks the user or the person who is sitting in front of the uh, circuit has the ability to stop the simulation get the output again run the simulation or he can resume the simulation what so so that are the uh, these are the features that you can see and next is cloud analyst so cloud analyst also has some features of its own where this cloud analyst is based on your cloud simulator cloud sim so this cloud analyst simulator it will provide you the graphical user interface it will provide you the gra graphical user interface so with that graphical user interface you are going to simulate the environment and the cloud analyst is used for large scale application where the simulation is carried out in a large scale so when it is for large scale uh, it is it is mandatory where it should be easy to use that is your graphical user interface must be user friendly and this cloud analyst will allow the user to add n number of components where the configuration will be on the higher side and the flexibility to add and remove the components is on the higher side and when we are using cloud analyst the user has the ability to perform the experiments or application that is developed a number of times with various parameters values so when you are uh, deploying some windmill based project so the user can uh, use the windmill uh, wind, uh, windmill's power that is your voltage and current setting into different values 
and see where the performance is on the higher side. So likewise, you can do when you are using Cloud Analyst. So when you are, uh, as it is using graphical user interface, it will be, the output will be uh, based on the graphical representation, like tables, charts, like that. So now why we go, uh, why we choose Cloud Analyst is, it is helping us to design and uh, manage some uh, application policies and strategies. It will be, uh, it will be helping us to design and manage the complete environment. Next, Green Cloud. So Green Cloud is nothing but it is developed as an extension. NS2 tool. You will be learning this uh, NS2 tool in your upcoming semester. M might be in the seventh semester or sixth semester. Like uh, using this network simulator, you can uh, decide what kind of topology a uh, application can use and from where to where the data has to be uh, transmitted. When the data is transmitting, uh, transmitting from one end to another end, you can pose many algorithms such that the data is securely sent. All those can be done using this green cloud so as the name tells you being green cloud it goes like paperless cloud but you there is no paper or agreement that is provided it is a green cloud which uh, which is going paperless so this simulator when you use this ground uh, ground uh, green cloud simulator it can monitor the consumption of energy when you are using different components, network components, like if you are using different switches, different routers, different servers, it will be telling you the consumption of energy. So this you can this green cloud, you can tell that it is a potential environmental benefits, benefits cloud-based services, which it is providing to the society. So based on that, it is having some features where it will allow the user to enable uh, improved power management scheme as it keeps on monitoring the energy consumption. It also allows the user to completely manage and configure devices based on the simulations. And it also supports the simulation of cloud network components. What are what components you use based on that, it will support the simulation. Based on the library choice, it will provide the support. And also it is an open source simulator and you have user friendly graphical user interface as uh, uh, you have GitHub, which is an open source uh, coding system. Likewise, your green cloud is an open source simulator. Entering into open source cloud, you have three types, open stack, cloud stack and Ecliptus. And commercial cloud, you have Amazon Web Services, Microsoft, Azure, Google App Engine. So coming into open source client, like OpenStack, you have number of components in this OpenStack with its function mentioned in it. Like if you uh, get a component called Searchlight, then its function is searching of simulator. So like that. So here this OpenStack is providing an uh, infrastructure as a service and it is of free software where the user can easily access the cloud with the help of the graphical user interface and they can start using the components uh, based on what function it requires and here this OpenStack will support a complete large scale scalability of the cloud system where different softwares are available and different components based on its functions are available. So for that you can take next you can take webs Amazon web service where it comes under commercial cloud. So commercial cloud Amazon as a web service it is providing the use uh, I mean the user can either manage a complete server or it can launch the server in a real time scenario where the GUI interface is handling the complete instance user friendly. So like how like you have many other commercial clouds like uh, um, uh, like a Flipkart uh, or whatever online shopping we do. How it is? It is pay per use model. So whatever you choose in that platform, you are using, you are paying, and then it is it is being used. So it it is uh, called as application programming interfaces. That is, you are using application as a program interface where tools and utilities are used for the user. And this infrastructure will provide you a virtual computing environment. Like you will have uh, components like CPU, memory, storage, networking capability. All those components will be available, which will be provided in the virtual computing 
environment so likewise uh, your aws will be uh, completely flexible to the server capacity it will completely extract the data analytics when uh, based on what choice the customer is asking for and it also follows paper use model and it is controlling uh, it uh, the aws will provide the control to the operating system and under the deployment of the software so there are many features that is provided by the commercial cloud also so this is this is what is your cloud simulator in detail stay tuned for more information thank you